Hi, YouTube family. We're here. See, it started on its own. I've been doing this. We've been caught off guard. Today, we're having a very special Toya Thursday. Yes. It's Not Cute Not Knowing, mm -hmm. Latoya Charleston. Check her out on IG, yes. chocolate.divinity. Yes. She's been doing some great things. I'm your auntie, Patty Jackson. It's Not Cute Not Knowing. Let's get this hug. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Patty. Mm -hmm. I am living for that lip color of yours, no friend. I took, I took a pencil and my regular Mario lipstick, which mm -hmm. was like in the Red family. Okay. And, I, and I mixed it together. I'd be making my own. It is popping. It's giving Berry Bliss. Yes, Berry yes. Bliss. But we have <laughs> Bliss for you. And I promise I'm not going to get excited and grab onto my beads. Okay. Because when I get excited, here they are. Uh -huh. And they said, we hear the beads too much. So I'm going to try to not touch them. But Jamie Foxx is back. Get ready for Beat Shazam coming back May 28th on Fox, okay. airing on Hulu. The next day, Jamie and his daughter, Corinne, they're filming the new episodes. Kiki Palmer is writing a book. Okay. Her what? memoir. Okay. The Master of Me. I know. She's 12. But mm -hmm. she's going to have a new book okay. before Thanksgiving. Well, she's uh, covered a lot of ground, especially she with has. that baby father. So. And she keep, she keep a gig. She sure do. She Probably. keep a gig. She's doing a movie right now with Eddie Murphy Child. called Kiki. The Pickup. They're in Atlanta filming Come, it. Kiki said, let me show you how to. Let me write the manual. Job. <laughs> she is, because Kiki keeps a job. Hey, Amen. What's going on with singer Neo? Child. You know, when you meet him in person, he is so so nice. Very charming. But these women got stories to tell. Now, this is this one of his baby moms? Yes. Yeah, so this is after Crystal Smith. Um, she actually was dating Neo while Neo was with Crystal Smith, from what I know, do not allegedly, we'll say just for protection right now. Um, but she was up for the shenanigans. She was about the harem life. She was okay with him having a wife and having her two babies on the side. I'm guessing their relationship went south. I wake up four o'clock this morning. It's first thing on my feed. Her cussing Neo out with the camera in front of his face. Oh gosh, she's she, she's claiming abuse, hookers, yeah, pills, mushrooms, yeah, all so, in front of the kids. I, when he came here, he was so mild mannered, wasn't he? Them always be the ones you gotta look out for. He was like he was funny, was yes. so mild mannered. I was yes. like Neo. He been rocking that gentleman for years now. Mm. Sure, he likes to get down with the get down ladies. The Jeannie Mai Jeezy marriage. Mm. Ooh. We're hearing stuff that we never knew. When Jeezy filed for divorce, mm -hmm. they seemed like they had the perfect relationship. Can't the remember. wedding pictures were fabulous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful baby. Yep. And he he dumped her. But and now she's you she's striking back because she is claiming that Jeezy abused her during the relationship. Oh, she God. says she is the victim. Of domestic violence. She talked about the explosive outbursts and the excessive drinking. How he pushed her down the stairs. How he choked her. Punched her in the eye three weeks after she had that baby. Now, if you follow them on social media, they did have beautiful wedding pictures. Yes, they did. They just seemed like they were the perfect couple. And she would be on the real. Talking about it. Yeah. I, I'll never, I'm sorry, this, it just plays in my mind when they were talking. And I've never loved a man like this. And that's how I knew it was real because it was never about the money for me. He bought me books for my birthday. I was like, what the? Okay, girl, like, be great. And now look at all of this. It won't turn from my man, my man, my man, to now he beating on me. What yeah, so it's getting it's getting worse and worse. I pray, just pray for both of them. Anyway. A New York appeals court, Harvey Weinstein, Chop. they didn't overturn his New York sex assault conviction. Return it, turn it back over. I feel bad for the victims. Yes. Now he's not getting out. He bet they better not let him. Yeah, no, they get not. Out. But they're claiming he didn't have a fair trial. Okay, what wasn't fair really? about it? Well, what wasn't fair about it? Okay. Right, that was very shocking mm -hmm. and very uh, Wendy Williams. Now the judge is asking the guardian, where the money? Where the money? When she accused Wendy's ex, and it's not like, you know, Kevin got his stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's even saying, well, where's the money? 
She told Kevin, when you owe us money, <laughs> which I said, girl, you ain't never going to see that money. Ain't ever going to see but it. But whoever put this guardian in charge of Wendy, she can't answer the question about where the money. This woman has a history of abusing her power. Mm. She's looking stressed. Kevin is smiling. The judge is like, show us the money. Where is it? Show us the receipts. Where is it? How are you spending it? Oh, it's, it's, it's. It sucks that Kevin will. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, you got to look out for Miss Wendy and her affairs, but this don't free up for you to spend all her money either, Kevin. No. Kevin, please. Just abuse, like, all around. Season five. There will be a season five for Queen Latifah oh, and on. The Equalizer. Law and Order with the actor Christopher Maloney. It's part of the, you know, Law and Order family. This was the organized crime it's leaving NBC, and it's going to be streaming on the Peacock Network. Well, come on. What's up with all these shows, like, going to different network homes? I feel like this is happening a lot It now. has, but I'm going to tell you what show is doing well. What? ABC's 911. Well, come on. It used to be on Fox. Yep, I remember that. It's doing very well. Come on now. Very, very well. John Bon Jovi. Sure. Been fine forever. Been fine and still fine. Part of one of the just biggest rock bands, Bon Jovi. Um, Cowboy. Yes. Now or never. Living on a prayer. Come on. There's a documentary that's airing on Hulu that talks about the band, and they've had many trials and tribulations. Okay. He's had issues with vocal cords. Yes. He's been married to his college sweetheart for 35 years. Okay. And there's going to be this special Sunday night, ABC, Michael Strahan. Okay. And I guess he asked him, so how's it fit being married? And he just smiles and says, I'm a rock star. I'm no saint. And you can tell, because it's like, this man is too good looking. He fine, and then you add the fame and the money on top of it. What you want from me? Yeah, but he opens up with the group. They've had barriers falling out, mm -hmm. so it hasn't always been harmonious mm -hmm. but i can't wait to see this document this will be good. Mary, he's 62 still looks amazing yes he does but he sits down with michael strahan sunday night yeah. on on abc you know what Patty? he's somebody in the industry i've never like heard people say ill things about him either no yeah you've never he's no. always kind of like stayed out of the drama and the light like that with the personal stuff so yeah we want the tea yeah well he's he went through he has three kids okay. a daughter and two sons okay his daughter had a bad drug problem mm. so going through that in his life okay uh all three of his kids are getting married within Aww, the year so beautiful. he's going That's to be a lot. busy but I think the wife probably keeps him stable. Mm -hmm. And but this is a documentary. I I really look yeah. forward to seeing. Can't wait to see this. Singer Her is teaming up with Oprah Winfrey oh, once on. again for a new movie about a very rich girl who defies her parents, goes to a black college, and she becomes part of the majorette team. Okay. Say female drum line. Yeah, Stomp the Yard. Maybe female Stomp the Yard. Mm -hmm. It sounds good because they were two great movies, but they're doing that. Oh, Brian McKnight, I don't even know what to say to you anymore, but I really need you to stay off social media. Please. You don't need to do question and answers because his son is battling stage four cancer, Nico. And they were saying, you ain't taking care of your kid. Brian McKnight is claiming that he tried. He even sought out a specialist for his son because he's got stage four cancer. He says that his ex-wife was hostile. Boy, get... So he is no longer doing anything. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, he referred to his children as evil and the products of sin. Brian McKnight, how, what happened? I ain't even looking crazy at him, because crazy is as crazy does. I'm looking at the wife and the other family now. You all better sleep with one eye open, because there's no. something wrong. Something ain't right. That elevator don't go to the top floor. If you co-sign bad behavior from a person and how they treat that ex Shut and how out. they treat them kids, 
you gonna be treated the same way. Don't be sitting there acting all cute and like mm, you better. Your story yeah, about to you, be worse. Yeah, don't do it. You can never co-sign a person's bad behavior towards their children mm -hmm. or their exes. Okay, every relationship doesn't end well. No. But if you go in the court, I remember I, I, I had a girlfriend. It was an aha moment. Mm -hmm. She's like, why am I sitting in court with this man? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't. This ain't none of your kids. Yeah. Stop. She, why is this she, your business? She said she got up and left. Because you look like a fool walking up in there head in yeah. hand with his crazy behind. And she just said, I got to go. I'm I can't, so, I can't, I can't do this. I'm so glad she realized it, oh, at least yeah. in the moment said, let me walk away from this. Yeah. Because this ain't, this ain't my problem. Yes. Yeah. So you, you can't because your turn could be coming. Mm hmm uh, we do have some good news on Vivica Pop. Yes! Our Auntie Viv. Love Auntie Viv. She got new maid. Well, after 6 9 after 50 Cent, she's very happy with an actor by the name of Kevin Daniels. He okay. was in Law and Order, Modern Family, played like bit parts in, in okay. places, so he's not famous. Come on. But Auntie Viv, we want you to be careful because the minute you go public. You already know what's going to happen, and you've been there. They Auntie. start dragging the receipts. A man will sit, well, listen, Summer Walker, she got all happy. This is my man. I think it was less than an hour later. He do poor! <laughs> <laughs> and the next step did out. I was 29. <laughs> in love with this bus driver. Uh-huh. I was in love. You were probably four years old. Do you know it? Yes. You probably would have said to me, I'm going to be your future friend. What? Stop acting like this. Get over here. I was, I was turned, as the kids say. I was turned. And I run, run in my mouth through the newspapers. I love that I'm going to marry him. I he's my him. man. I failed him, man. Oh, my dream. Yes, we're getting married. My man, my man, my man. man. Child, women came out of the woodwork, so and he freaking. and he got mad at me. Mad at me? He did. He got mad at me. I don't want my business in the street, and that's when I said, "Well, you're dating a public figure." Thank you. This so part. So this is this this is my life, and I didn't need to go run to the newspaper because uh -huh. I've never done that dumb shit again. Yeah! But <laughs> my boss at the time said, "Wait a minute." My new boss says that. My latest boss says uh -huh. that. You don't know who you are. <laughs> and back then, I really didn't because my behavior and the way that I acted. I was 29. Mm -hmm. I was 29 and dumb. Mm -hmm. God said, you're going to learn today. Come on now. You're going to learn today. That was your saving moment. And I did. It was a saving moment. Mm -hmm. It was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Um But it was a life lesson. And yes. I have never, I've never and gone, gone public but I my man no and Patty you gotta be thankful because these are what our 20s are for you want to learn this <laughs> early in 20 because ain't nothing worse than some 50 year old fool <laughs> running around <laughs> you look crazy running around out here after some man talking about uh uh by the time you get to 50 you'll be like alright well gone that's where you want to be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how I should be at that point like alright gone I do you cannot be of a certain age and still doing stuff that you can say I was 20 yeah I was, I was 20 that's what I was supposed to do all yeah. that yeah but when you get over a certain age stop. you cross that threshold of 30 mm -mm. that kind of foolishness has to stop why are you showing I ain't showed up in nobody's house since I was 20 something and I don't plan on doing it no more <laughs> yeah you do that you do that stuff when you're younger thank you I, I knew somebody they said get in the car I said where we going <laughs> I wanted to see if he got something in his house. Mm -hmm. I said, uh-uh. Baby, you got to call no, your Uber. You're going to have to, yeah, get Uber. You better get the Uber to go with you and ride down. I I'm not doing this thing. I'm not today. Do that. We don't do that at this age. Girl, if you're <laughs> not this, this age, you know what he's doing. Just leave. You know, if you're a certain age, you be thinking they got somebody in the house. They got somebody in the you house. You know it's somebody up in the house. Girl. You know it. No one has to tell you. You don't need a subtle reminder. None. There's someone in the house. Girl, uh -uh. no. Don't do this to yourself. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> so... Uh, Vivica, just be careful. We want to see friend. you happy. Yes, we I do. I don't want to hear another thing about 50 Cent. 
a thing. Not let a, it go. Let it go. Please. If you happy, girl, just keep this. Keep it. Let that man love on you. And 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 keep it to yourself. To yourself. Because people will they will crawl out of the Kill woodwork. Joyce. Can't wait. Kill Joyce. People they be saying, I know you they ain't can't. over here happy. Well, let me go over here. Yeah. <laughs> they do. That's how some people you think. Happy. And you have you mm. just you just have to be careful. Mm -hmm. So Auntie Viv, you know how much we love you. Yes, we do, friend. We threw out a lot of questions. Where is the Wendy Williams money? Glad to see Jamie Foxx is back. Mm -hmm. Jeezy. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot. It's a lot. He says it's not true. Mm. And it's just a it's a sad day. We hear the Harvey Weinstein is getting a new trial. Uh, for so what? This man is abusing like, women forever. Thank you. Well, he's raping people. Let yeah. go. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sit down. Mm -mm. Well, Cat Williams said this was the year of people being exposed, and, it's, and it keeps happening. And it keeps happening. We can't turn. Or can I catch a break? No, no. Uh -uh. Was beat where people are are, mm -hmm. are being exposed. Year of revelation. The weekend edition comes up early. Tomorrow's Friday, so that weekend edition is early. So don't be surprised when you see it. Go watch <laughs> it. For everyone who says, "Patty, we want pictures." It's pictures. Oh, well, good. Okay. It is. It's pictures. It's video. Yes. I'm that's a young you guy. For that. David A. Gaines, um, who puts it all together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why this one is good. Someone asked how did me and you become friends. Aww. And that story was funny. Oh, I love it. Because Toya had to snatch somebody up. Listen. And they were like, that new girl. And I said, she like me. That's what he's talking about. <laughs> I know. They thought Toya was some dumb young girl. Child, she came up here and snatched up one of them women. You, you could snatch up someone. Yeah. Not physically. No. But by the time you... Set the tone. They ain't bothered her since. None of it. I said, oh, they thought you was a dumb young girl. I guess so. Who are you talking Cause I'm the type, you, three strikes and you're out. I'm not big into baseball, but I know those those <laughs> that, those principles. You got three times with me. The third one, okay. Now it's time to let you know. <laughs> and she did, and she was the talk of the office. And, and here what? I go. Well, she likes me. I think right. she's very nice. And me and friend been rocking ever since. We've been rocking ever since. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one of the one of the question. Could we do this segment called it. Ask Auntie? So and much. and the producer said you had me in tears because yeah. I you know because a lot of times I talk about my journey yeah I get serious uh -huh. but then there's plenty of the like yesterday I was so serious I was on tear <gasps> and I said don't worry y'all I'll be silly as hell tomorrow tomorrow one tomorrow. one but today is it's levels to this <laughs> yeah because it was about caretakers <laughs> oh yeah and just giving them a shout out and it's okay. not easy. Ooh. Oh, when not. you are a caretaker. Mm -hmm. But I told y'all the day I was coming. Yeah. The giggles and everything and how dumb I was when I was 29. Look at friend making good on her promises. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, because you never know what you're going to get. Nope. When you see the notifications, you know that we're here. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Check chocolate out. Chocolate.divinity mm -hmm. on IG. Mm -hmm. um, I should write this down, but I don't. Yes. Leave a comment. Leave, Leave a, a comment. comment. Hit the Leave like. a comment. Subscribe. Call your friends. We're both sitting up here hungry. We got to get lunch. Right? I'm sitting here. The stomach is growling. I said, Lord, you're about to pass out from hunger. Yeah. <laughs> Eat some of that fat. You know, <laughs> you know why? Because some days it's just so busy. I don't yes. get a chance to go away for an hour. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I got too much work. I ain't got time yep. for lunch. I'm with you, friends. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Yay. I'm so glad you're here for yes. Thursday. I'm yeah, <laughs> but have a good one. It's like cute not knowing, and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. This is Chocolate <laughs> Divinity, Latoya Charleston. <laughs>